friends what's up this is RK from 360 reader right now I'm going to talk about the pro tips and tricks to fix the hand of not working issue on iPhone iPad Apple watch and Mac for those unfamiliar handoff allows you to transfer activities from one iDevice to another hence you can pick up from where you left off on another Apple device that's what called a seamless experience that the Apple ecosystem boasts with that said let's cut the chase before getting started make sure you have subscribed our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 reader first off let's check out the basics the very first thing that you should do is to make sure that your devices are fully compatible hand up supports iphone 5 or newer ipad pro all models ipad fourth generation or newer ipad air or newer ipad mini or newer ipod touch fifth generation or newer make sure that your devices are running ios 8 or later if you are using mac ensure that your device is compatible make sure you have macbook introduced in 2015 or later macbook pro introduced in 2012 or later macbook air introduced in 2012 or later mac mini introduced in 2012 or later imac introduced in 2012 or later imac pro all models mac pro introduced in 2013 or later ensure that your Mac is running OS X Yoshimite or later. It's worth noting that handoff supports all Apple Watch models. Once you have checked out the basic requirement, make sure that apps are compatible with handoff as well. The first party apps that support handoff include Mail, Maps, Safari, Reminders, Calendar, Contacts, Pages, Numbers, Keynote, etc. There are quite a few third party apps that support handoff. Some of the popular ones are Carrot Weather, Fantastical 2 Bear, Drafts, Envoy Terms, Pocket, etc. For handoff to work seamlessly, both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth must be enabled across iDevices so ensure that they are enabled everywhere. On your iPhone or iPad, head over to Settings app, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, after that turn off on the toggles. On your Apple Watch, navigate to the Settings app and then tap on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and then turn off on the switch. On your Mac, click on the Wi-Fi menu and then turn it off on. After that, click on the Bluetooth menu and then turn it off on. Now check out if handoff has started to work normally. Simply open an app like Mail or Safari that works with handoff. After that, use the app to start a task such as writing an email or document. Next, continue on your other device. If you are switching to your Mac, click the app's handoff icon in the dock. If you are switching to your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, open the app switcher as you would like when switching between apps, then tap the app banner at the bottom of the screen. If you haven't yet been able to fix the handoff issues, I would recommend you to turn off on handoff and then restart your device. On your Mac, click on the Apple menu and then choose System Preferences. After that, click on General. Now, deselect select Allow Handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. On your iPhone or iPad, go to Settings app, then tap on General. Now, tap on AirPlay and Handoff. Now, turn off on handoff. On your Apple Watch, open the Watch app on your iPhone, then tap on General now you have to turn off on the handoff toggle now you have to restart all of your devices and after that check out if handoff has started to work normally if it has then it's time to read yours it's worth noting that you must be using the same iCloud account or Apple ID on all of your devices, so ensure that you have signed in to the same iCloud account. If the problem occurs, even if you are using the same iCloud account, then sign out of your account and then sign back in. On your iPhone or iPad, launch Settings app and then tap on your profile. Now you have to tap on Sign Out. After that, you have to wait for some time and then sign back in. Do know that Apple Watch uses the same Apple ID as the paired iPhone. On your Mac, launch System Preferences and then click on Apple ID. After that, click on Overview and then click on Sign Out. Now wait for some time and then sign back in to your iCloud account. If you are yet to fix the hand of issues on your iDevice, then I guess the problem could be due to a software bug. And in this case, the best way to get rid of the problem is to go for the software update. More often than not, Apple rolls out software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why it's always recommended to keep the software updated to the latest version. On your iPhone or iPad, launch Settings app and then tap on General. Now tap on Software Update and then download and install the latest 
latest version of iOS or iPadOS on your device. On your Apple Watch, open the Watch app, then tap on General, then tap on Software Update, and then download and install the latest version of WatchOS on your Apple Watch. On your Mac, launch System Preferences, and then click on Software Update. After that, download and install the latest version of macOS on your Mac. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you have been able to fix the hand of issues on your iDevice. Now that you have been able to get rid of the issues, let me know your feedback down below in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye.